Hello everyone, it's Laurel here from Forever Purple Creations, and no, I am not live. I'm live, but I'm not live. Um, me and Mags are here. I know you can't see her, but she is here. Um, Hi everyone. Uh, we decided to come on this way today. One, there's a lot of people that go on on Sunday, and it's a little bit later. I usually, if I'm going to come on Sunday, it's a little earlier in the morning. Um, so we decided to come on live, but private, and then I'll upload it afterwards. So this is what you're watching, the afterwards. Um, I'm working on my mixed media project for chaos for you the design team project for chaos for you for May, and I haven't done a mixed media in a while, so I thought you guys might want to watch along. I'm really enjoying this project, and um, a lot of times you'll say, oh my god, I wish you'd do a video well, once it's already made, and <laughs> I've shared it. It's kind of hard to do a video on it, so we're going to do it live, and Max is going to craft, and I'm going to craft, and we're going to chit chat. And I'm just, I'll explain some things that I've done already and the things that I've used and um, just go from there whether I'll get it all done or not today. I'm not sure. But if not, then you'll see the finished project when I do the film to show the whole thing finished. So we're going to get started. I'm going to move my camera. Make sure my sound's in the right place. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Let me make sure, and I'm a little too close, so I have to pull up my webcam. Let me do that. Back up just a little bit. So I'm really excited because I haven't, uh, I know my first two projects for chaos for you were mixed media projects. And I have, don't think I've really done a mixed, mixed media project since I did the, swing tag and stuff but i i don't know if i'd call that mixed media it is but it isn't so let me back out just a little bit and see how far i've backed out well maybe a little bit more for now let me get these controls up here so i can see what i'm doing all right let me minimize this all right that's a little better okay so um I started with a canvas. I gessoed it all in black. And this is um, a homemade gesso that I made. It's a new recipe and it works amazing. I kind of made up the recipe, the certain things that I used in it to make it because I want to start doing a lot more mixed media and playing with my um, waxes and things like that. So, um, more with the darks with the waxes over it than the white and a bunch of colors, which I may do some of those as well. So um, that's what I used for that. So I did two coats on here and I was, when I started, I was first going to do um, it on this side. And then something just told me, you know, I liked the way I did the last one when I did the reverse canvas. So I decided to turn it over and do it on this side. So then I proceeded to paint this whole side. Um, and then just to cover up the staples and everything, I did cover it with this um, flat black lace going around. And we'll move this to the side for now because we don't need this yet. We'll need this in a few minutes. And I'll show you. I have been working on this since yesterday. So I'll kind of show you. Um, what I've been doing and, you know, explain what's what's going on. So I made a dress for him at the beginning of May. That's how long I've been wanting to make this project. Um, and I put it around a Barbie and I made the dress for him. And <laughs> me and Patty had a really good laugh last night. And you may hear me cough, excuse me. <coughs> I'm kind of have a cold and my allergies are insane right now. So excuse me if I cough. So I did a dress form on a Barbie. I'm going to teach you the things not to do when you make a dress form. Um, <laughs> this was worse than cutting a cast off of somebody. I must have done like 18 layers of paper. It was at least almost a quarter inch thick. It was really thick. Go ahead and laugh, Mags. <laughs> well, you can talk. I was I was going to ask, what did you use to cut it with? Um, you know, to a, cut very, it a very sharp. Um, utility knife really really slowly okay. um, to cut open the back first so that wasn't the bad part the bad part was I started with a layer of stuff and I didn't like it I let it dry a little and then I kept adding on more which why I always think you need more I don't know but you don't and 
then I let it sit in my window in the sun for almost the whole month. And it is, it's, it's, um, it's very solid. So I don't ever have to worry about it going anywhere. And then I gessoed it. I finally got it off. I cut it down the back and it took like a half an hour. Me and Patty laughed with all kinds of things being said and done. And, um, then I covered it with black gesso. And then I took this beautiful piece of lace from craft supplies for you and i will show you the lace just so you can see what it looked like before i started if i can find it right now of course because i want something right at this moment it's not going to be whatever is oh my god what did I'm you live, do? Not live, so we can go ahead and talk I oh she still had to bring something in and show it to me that's amazing i love it Oh, she made one of Nick's little books. That oh, real Yeah. One of it later. You can look and see it. Oh, no, you can't. I have my camera. No, I can't. Right I'll show it to you later. Sorry, guys. All right. So here's the lace. Um, Here's <laughs> the lace. And it's gorgeous. And it's white. So I just took a straight piece. Cut off what I thought I needed. Oh, and I'm dropping obstacles that I need here for my project on the floor. Um, and cut it. And then I used this beautiful Stardust spray. It's called, I'm, not, I'm sure I'm not going to say it right, Can Canna Lily Burnt Orange. Though when you see it on here, it does not look burnt orange. And I wanted to go with more rich colors this time. And yes, I'm not using purple. <laughs> so um, I sprayed the fabric. Yeah, Mags is like, you're not using purple? People are going to be shocked. Um, and then I just laid it over it. And it just happened to lay exactly the way I wanted it. And it kind of swooped down. So I haven't glued it or anything. So I'm being very careful not to... Um, move it around too much because that's exactly where I want it like that. So that's how I got to this part. Um, if you have any questions, once this is uploaded, please just leave me a message in comments. Most of you can reach me on Messenger. I'm going to try and make sure to let you know everything that I used and the process that I went through when I did it. So along with me and Mags just chatting and crafting in a minute, but I want to get you to the point of where I'm at right now. So that's the dress room. Oh, and after I cut it open, I did cut off um, not half of it, a little less than half. So it's just beyond the shoulder blade is where I cut off the dress form for where I want it on my project. And I will probably be cutting around this neck a little bit as well, too. So I'm going to move this over and we're going to get to the next part. So the reason I came up with doing this is I ordered, you know, um, these leaves leaves um and it's funny because we've been ordering flowers and nikki from disorganized crafter and crystal from um rustic ink angel designs which is also a sdt on craft supplies for you ordered flowers and nikki got like three boxes she got bushels <laughs> we don't understand what she did well i thought i ordered one pack of these i was not paying attention i ordered one pack but you get five packs of 12 so there are 12 in here and i receive five packs and i'm like oh my goodness what am i going to do with that many leaves these are amazing leaves i'm going to show them to you um and it was five packs for a dollar 20 so um great price uh most of her stuff over there is a great price and like i, I i'm going to tell you guys again now because there's still time she has um, an appreciation thing going on for her um, customers. For every $25 you spend at Craft Supplies for You, your name is being put in, the draw uh, in a drawing this month. And she will be giving away two gift cards, one for $30 and one for $40. So you still have time and flowers are still 60% off. That's if Nikki and Crystal and them left you any. So I'm just letting you know. <laughs> So, um, and I haven't even gotten to get over there and get more. These are the leaves and they are actually, I love them because they are three different sizes and they're almost three different colors. Like one is light and I got something right in my screen so I can't see what I'm showing you. So let me get rid of this. One is, a lighter, 
One is a lighter green, and then these are darker, and they're three different sizes, and they're very bendable. Even the, the parts that don't have metal in them are really bendable, so I really love these. I love using leaves and flowers, and I like all little crafty stuff. So I'm like, what am I going to do with all of these flower, these leaves? So this is where that project came in mind. Now, I'm not going to tell you what I'm exactly doing yet. You'll see when I start crafting. But these are um, these are the leaves. And like I said, you get, I believe there's 12 in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yep, 12. And there's three leaves in each one and you get five packs of these so you can imagine how many leaves i have so those are the leaves i'm using and i will show you in a minute what i've done to them so i decided to go with being as i use the the burnt orange and i picked it after my other color but it doesn't look burnt orange on here it actually looks almost like a rose color rose gold rose color so i have my um Art Alchemy uh, Metallic Wax, and this is Rose Gold. And then I also pulled out some Rose Gold Glitter Paste by Bo, Bo Bunny. Um, this is by Prima Finnebear. Prima, it's, I get confused. Is Finnebear and Prima the same thing or what? Finnebear yeah. is part, yeah, Finnebear is one of Prima's okay. Uh, artists. Okay, so I pulled out that. I also pulled out some um distress glitter and some texture paste because we're going to be using that i have out my um uh oh i lost my butterfly i'm going to need oh there it is okay don't panic laurel i also am going to be using my um heavy gel medium and this is a gloss heavy gel medium and this is by liquitex and i know everybody has their favorites but you guys know how i am i always like to try out a product and then give my review on it and i can tell you that this stuff is amazing this will hold down anything it metals everything you put it on put some of it on and put it on there and it is not coming off that project so i can't use the fabric tack on here because of the canvas and i don't want it to eat through it and i don't want my project to ever fall apart so i will be putting everything down with the liquitex um I got this on sale on clearance. It was $24.99 regular and I got it for $6.24. So you can't beat that deal. So I'm absolutely love this stuff. So I have that out. Yes, it was. I also have out some my, uh, micro beads. Um, and these are again, Finna Bear. And these are, this color is pollen and this color is blush. So I'll probably be using the blush if I'm guessing correctly. I will not, I don't think, be using Fabri-Tac on anything. I also use this mold. I have some wings I will be using and I made quite a few. And um, I made these with um, porcelain paper clay. And if it's right here by me, like I said, I just want to kind of let you guys know everything I used. I've been making a lot of molds the last two days. So of course, I know it's staring right at me. So just give me one second. You know it's right here somewhere. It's going to jump out and bite me is what's going to happen. Um, it is porcelain clay. It's paper clay, but it's porcelain paper clay. So it almost dries um, kind of clear. Here, it dries like this. Translucent? Yeah, almost translucent. So, and then I covered them with gesso. And then I'll explain what I did there in a minute. And then I took the leaves, and as you see, well, and I moved the green ones already, so I can't show you. Hold on. They are no longer green. This is how they looked before, and this is how they look now. Love that. So these are all covered with the um, Art Alchemy Rose Gold Metallic pa uh, Metallic Paste, Wax Paste, Metallic Wax. And the wings are also covered with the um, rose gold metallic wax. So there is a rose gold and black theme going on here. So I took two packages of these and did them all in rose gold. Then I took, 
and I'm still looking as I'm talking to you. Oh, here it is. No, it's not. I'm still looking for the paper clay as I'm talking to you guys. Because <laughs> I know it's right here somewhere. And it's going to just really jump out at me in a second. It's probably right here on my desk. Um, That's really bothering me. I had this ornament, and it looked like this. And it was double-sided, and I took it apart. I used my um, undo, and I took it apart. And then I clipped all the leaves apart, which is what I have here. And I left some blanks so I can show you what it looks like as you start doing it. And these are covered in black gesso and then the rose gold as well. And I did do both sides. Not that you'll see the back, but I know it's there. So I did both sides and I left these so that we could start working on that. So that's as far as that. Oh, and then this piece. <laughs> so this gorgeous piece. And if I showed you what it looked like before, you wouldn't believe it because it actually looked just like this. And now it looks like this. So I covered it in black gesso. And then I did the um, rose gold all over the whole entire thing. So I just, I cannot believe that you can't see you know, there's a lot of big glitter and stuff on here, and it just it just turned out beautiful. I think it's beautiful. I love this piece. I'm going to be looking for another one, and I actually got this at the Dollar Tree. So um, I really like this. So I'll probably be getting another one of that. So that's what I'm up to so far. I also cut out some dyes, a butterfly, and a bunch of feathers. I may or may not be using them. I have an idea, so we'll see how it goes. And my brushes of choice these days are these. Um, you can get a set of three at Walmart for $4.97. I am waiting for a purple set to come back in stock. Because, um, you know, I got to have my purple. And they do carry them at Walmart. So when they come back in stock, I'll be getting them. And I think it's a set of five or six. You can also get these on Amazon for $6.99, a set of five. So if you don't mind this color... I would suggest going over to Amazon. I use these for my distress ink and everything, and I'm also using them right now for the wax. You would not believe how easily these wash out, and then you can just go from one color to the next color. They are amazing brushes. So I have been using this size on the whole project. So did I cover everything where I've been so far, Max, do you think? I think so. Okay. So then I can just start creating as soon as I can find that. I can't believe the paper clay just, <laughs> like, I don't get it. it. It should be right here, and it's just not right here. It literally walked away. I was just working with it last night. I made some more um, wings, but I don't see it. But anyway, you can get it at Michael's. It is the paper clay. Just make sure you look at the package. It says porcelain paper clay, and it's air dry, so it just... It's just dries in the air. So I just made a bunch of this wing mold. And I actually have some drying right here. I'll show you. This is what it looks like while they're drying. See how it turns out, starts white and then starts turning like a clear yeah, color. Those are so yeah. Yeah, I love these wings. All right. So I think that's where we are so far. I think I've covered yeah. all the products and... Um, all the products we'll, we will be using and what I'll be doing, you know, when I get to the canvas. So I'm going to continue coloring these right now, just so you guys can see what I did. Um, and it's, you don't really need much of this. This stuff is awesome. And all these waxes, they have a real, I don't know what they put in them, but they smell really good. And if I could get it open, I even put, um, chapstick on here but i hate these little metal tins they're not fun to try and open all right and i think mags is working on a new style of a doily book over there right mags yeah i'm doing a fairy doily book but i'm trying to do some different things to it that... elements and stuff right yeah yeah all right so you just take a little bit put it on the brush and depending on if you want it full, you can fill it all in. But I just want to highlight over, you know, all the high points and low points of the leaf so you can tell what it is. 
and it's so weird not having to answer questions and we were going to go live but I didn't want to be too stressed because then I, sometimes I get a little too under pressure I mean my creativity is flowing right now but I'm not a fast crafter and I don't want to feel like all of a sudden I have to start moving faster so well and when you're actually live you do less crafting right so that's what it looks like when you're done and I know you guys are seeing gold but it is a rose color and it's beautiful and why the lighting stinks so bad I have no idea I have a really good light it is one of those daytime lights and it's light outside it just doesn't really come in my room so again I'm just kind of going over the high spots yeah you can see it clearly maybe and they'll be able can to you see the color okay they will see this is where this one was connected to the other side but you're not going to see this this is the back and I don't have everything planned out yet. I have ideas in my head, but most of my stuff comes along as I'm working, which is how it's pretty much work with this. So there, so that one's done. So it, I mean, they're, it's really simple, but just the black to me gives a whole different effect. You know, and a lot of these waxes like have two tones. I have the purple and it actually goes from brown to purple and becomes a completely different color on black than it does on white. And this little brush so just gets cool. in everywhere. I know I, I'm like addicted to this stuff now. And now I just have to be using some of mine. Mm -hmm. Yes, you do. Yeah, it's, uh, I really do love mixed media. It probably is my comes before anything else as much as I'm enjoying learning this paper and I will get it figured out and get going on journals. This is where, I don't know, I think it's because there's no restraints when you're doing mixed media. And I just, when I start, I sit down with this kind of stuff, then my, you know, my brain just starts going. So Well, it's going in the right direction. Yeah. I was telling Mags because she's seen it kind of put together. I didn't want to show it to you guys yet, kind of put together. But I'm like, I'm yeah. really going to have a hard time getting rid of this piece because I will be selling this piece because it's going to be amazing when I'm done. Or I'll be attempting to sell it. So we'll see. But And it's just, it's odd that I'm so into working with the black and the rose gold. I, I will be doing something with the black and purple. Trust me, don't you worry. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I don't ever leave my purple out. So that, that will be coming. And I did finish the L that I was working on the other day. So I will get my video up on that as well. I'm just always a little, you know, I'm a little behind. So I think that's all we have to um, distress for now. I do have the feathers, but I'm going to be gluing them onto cardboard. So I have a bunch of feathers here. And then I did them in cardboard as well. And then we're going to be putting the rose gold on the feathers as well. So we're just going to push this over here. Let's let's actually do one and see how it's going to look. So, oh, so I will be using a little bit of Fabri-Tac today. This will be about the only thing I'm using Fabri-Tac on. So I always cut it out in cardboard first. And when I was explaining to you guys, when you use your dye, make sure the dark the gray sides up so that you get the same um indentations i don't know if you can see that on there let me see if i can tilt this in the light somewhere there we go see mm -hmm. it the um what is it the veins running down the feather you want to yeah. make sure that matches the paper so if you put the this side up when you're punching your die your shape is going to be on this side and you want it on this side because you want this side plain so I'm just going to glue these together. So I am going to be using some Fabri-Tac today. I forgot about that because this was something I just thought of a little while ago. And you, you'll see why. Well, because that big piece has feathers and stuff all in it. So we're going to see how we can get to make, get this to look. And I did put my Fabri-Tac in a really tiny bottle as well. More for my really tiny stuff. So it's not going to work for this. I need my bigger bottle. My famous uh, sweet sugar bell bottle. And don't mind my hands. Like I said, I've been doing this 
since last night. And believe it or not, I've now been up for, let's see, seven would have been 24 hours, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, one, two. So 31 hours. <laughs> And I'm going strong over here. Yeah, I was that's just going to say, you'd never know it. I'd be a that's, zombie. Right now. That's because my mojo is just, I'm really excited about getting this project put together because I even can't wait to see, you know, what I create and what it looks like when it's finished. And I tend to shock myself too. Like, wow, I just did that. <laughs> so we're going to put this together and we're going to see how we can do with this um, paste. Or this wax. I don't know why I want to keep calling it paste. And this is just to give them some stability. All right. Let's get you moved over there. Come on. I don't want the red showing through. This is just to give it some um, stability so it's just not so light like paper. And usually you can get this to move with you. All right. So we're going to see how that. Oh, I can already see it on there. So we're just going to brush this a little just to see. See if we can get that center piece to come out of that vein. And then maybe get these tips. So I'm just going across the edge on both sides. And voila. Isn't that pretty? Mm -hmm. It looks like a piece of metal right now. I was just going to say, doesn't it look like a piece of metal? It does, oh, yes. I've made faux wood. Now I'm making faux metal. <laughs> <laughs> so let's let's uh, get some of these done because if I do need to use them, I'd rather sit here and get them glued and get some of these ready to go because that's going to be coming up soon once we get these pieces together. So we're going to sit and do some gluing for a minute, ladies. <laughs> gluing and um, highlighting. All right, and I need to get this piece of fabric out of here because I don't need it anymore. And we're probably going to be adding some other stuff. I'm going to keep it. I don't want to say simple because I don't do simple. But I'm going to keep it very um, more classy and rich. So I don't want to add too much of the wrong thing to this. Uh, so I'm trying to be very careful with my thought process on what I want to do here. How are you doing over there, Max? Oh, you know, I'm actually enjoying this one. Yeah? It, it seems like it's coming together a lot easier than some of my other ones. Nice. I, I love working with fairies anyways, you know. Right. They're my favorite or one of my favorites. Yeah, who doesn't love fairies? Come on. I love fairies. Fairies and unicorns and dragons and you know, all that stuff. So hopefully this, I can whip through this really quick. So we're going to get some glue on here and get these going. But I do need to get them done. So then we got to pick the one that matches it. You guys probably can't see me. I'm probably, probably out of frame at the moment. You just want to make sure the background paper's no, not you're, showing. You're I not wasn't. Showing. I was down here a second ago. Now I'm here. Oh, oh. I, was, I was over here. <laughs> I need to okay. put like X marks the spot. So yeah. we'll kind of move things apart so I know to stay in the center. So that one's done. So we'll put it up there. But now you can see the I difference. I to look where the little boxes are when I'm on. See the difference? So yeah, this looks really pretty. Yeah. What made me pick rose gold and um, black? I don't know. I just, something just told me to do those two colors together. So I did. Oh, and I'll have to show you guys, not that you haven't noticed, but yes, I got my nails done. And I found a place that has my most favorite purple that everyone said was discontinued. So I was so excited and I had them put this beautiful flower on one of my nails. I just didn't have the time to do them myself and I'm can't seem to do anything without my nails so I had to go get them done yesterday so that always makes me feel like you know when when ladies go and get their hair done it's like 
they just feel a hundred times better. That's how I feel when I get my nails done. <laughs> All right, that's that one. Let's start cranking through these so we can get these this part done. And you won't have to worry about these coming apart either with this fabric tack. And it doesn't curl or anything, which is why it's my favorite go-to glue now so far because I haven't tried anything else that's made me change my mind. And I know a lot of people don't like it be because of the smell, but I don't. I have a dog's nose, but trust me, I don't smell it. Ask Maggie. I have dog ears, dog nose. I can hear everything. Why are you laughing at me? Just because you had <laughs> dog nose and I was going to say elephant ears. <laughs> right. Not because of the size, only because you hear so well. Yeah, I have teeny tiny ears. And I am really enjoying having this uh, three-day weekend, knowing I don't have to go back to work tomorrow. Is, uh, makes me happy as pie. Or I should say, make me makes me happy as ice cream. <laughs> All right, so that's that one. So we'll get these whipped out. Oh, that was good. That was a good one, Laurel. We'll get these done really quickly. Let's rephrase that a little bit. And I know there was one that was cut off, so um, I'm the paper is still going to be there, so I'm not going to worry about it. Do I have another one like this? No. So once I put this on and put the paper on, you're not going to be able to tell anyway, so it won't matter. It'll still be pretty sturdy. But, you know, me and my Gemini are not friends anymore, so. No. I, ha I have a de defective Gemini, and he just doesn't work well with me. They yell at each other. Oh, my goodness. All right, so you won't even be able to tell. All right, there's that one. Oops, see how fast we're getting through these? I know this is the boring part, but it'll be nice that they're done, and I won't have to worry about stopping what I'm doing right in the middle. That's why I'd rather just get them done right now. So I hope you're all having a wonderful Memorial Weekend. I know I am. I know we will be barbecuing tomorrow. Burgers and hot dogs and prime rib burgers. We will too. Hot dogs and macaroni and cheese and um, baked beans and fries and potato salad and macaroni salad. So, yeah, we're good to go. Because there's a whole four of us. <laughs> <laughs> we, we need all that food, obviously. I think there's only going to be like five of us, but we always, I always make macaron the macaroni <laughs> salad I like mine. Yeah. Yeah, I love macaroni. Oh, I, I, my homemade macaroni salad consists of the macaroni, mayonnaise, spam, and a ton of um, dill pickles cut up in it. Spam? And, oh my God, it's amazing in macaroni salad, Mags. Especially with the pickles. Don't I'll knock it. Don't say anything it. unless you've tried it. I said I'll take your word for it. Yeah, it is it is really good. The the pickles definitely do it. There's something about the pickles. Yeah, it's a spam I'm having a hard time getting past. <laughs> really you don't like spam. Don't make me laugh because I'm going to choke because this cough is just not nice. And I don't want to choke. I don't want to cough in front of you guys. I'm trying not to cough. I know. Me I'm trying not to clear my throat. This yellow oh, pollen. Yeah, the back of my throat is like swallowing like sandpaper. <clears throat> it's Sorry, awful. I'm, here it is. I'm like, I'm missing one. Can't be missing one. They all got to be here. I'm actually looking forward to rain just to get rid of that yellow pollen. Yeah. I'm not because we've had nothing but rain. I'm looking forward. I know to we some haven't either, but I don't think we're going to get rid of it. There we go. 
I love feathers too, by the way, guys. Love, love, love feathers. That's one right. thing I never put in my projects are feathers. Yeah. Feathers and butterflies and she's sending me messages. My daughter telling me she's going to lunch. I think that was it. All right. Yeah, she has spent the entire weekend at the barn riding horses. She, she went to bed early last night. I'm like, what are you doing? She's, I'm like, why are you going to bed? Because I'm going to the barn. I'm like, again? And I'm like, and here's here's me asking the really dumb question. What are you going there for again? <laughs> and she she looks up at me from the bed and she's like, um, to ride? <laughs> Ask a dumb question. Get, you know, get a dumb answer. Of course you're going to ride. All right. I see this one's a little off. Just want to fix it before it starts drying. All right. This one too a little off. <clears throat> All right. Probably shouldn't have used a fruit loop box. It's got some really bright colors going on, doesn't it? I've been doing an awful lot of die cutting lately, I can tell you that. Yeah, for someone that's having a love-hate relationship with that <laughs> right. machine, oh, you've been telling using you. it a lot. Come on, lift up. And then once we go back to work Tuesday, Wednesday is our last day of school. So I have Tuesday and Wednesday, and I'm hoping to get some summer work. So we will, we shall see what happens. Now, why do I only have one of these? And I have a million paper ones, but I have none of the baby. Uh oh, I'm going to have to look on the floor. I'm sure they're there somewhere because they had to. Oh, yep. Here's one. See? Mm -hmm. knew they had to land on the floor. There's one more. I need one more. Let's see if I can see it real quick. If not, we'll just leave that one out for now. And I don't see it. Sorry, guys. Yeah, these little ones are hard to keep an eye on. Hard to hang on to, too. All right. This one goes to this. Yes? No. This one goes to this. All right, where's my little tool here? Need help picking this one up. Oh, my goodness. This in place. I'm sure all my um, kids are excited for school to be over finally. Although all I say is how fast the years are going by, because I could swear I just took my daughter to college. Still there, yeah. Mags? Right. Yeah. Did, I was just going to ask: Does she go back in August or end of July? Yeah, she goes back in August. August middle of August, like around the 12th. I think her moving day is the 12th. Which, it makes no sense because my first day of school is the 13th. So, how this college expects me to drive six hours, uh, move my daughter in, and then drive back and get up for work the next day, I don't know. Why they don't have a moving day on Saturday is beyond me. But someone's not doing very good planning is what I got to say. All right, this one goes on here. And we'll find that little one later. Trust me, I'll find it. I always do. If I need to add it in, I will. But like I said, I'm not, I have an idea for these. I'm not sure yet. So we may or may not use them. If I don't, I'll have a bunch of cool feathers ready to go for a project. All right, so we'll just move this one out of the way. And we're going to glue this butterfly too because I may need this as well. And then that'll be the last thing we got to glue down. See, this is where I need that teeny tiny one. <coughs> so I like to make sure every part is glued down. I can guarantee, even though Patty told me she wasn't going to, she went to bed. <laughs> 
I have a feeling she did too. Yep. All right. We just want to make sure this is on nice and straight. And I'm probably not in frame. That's okay. Just and I, I always do this with my die cuts. I always back them on cardboard or card, you know. What is it called? What's that board called, Mags? Uh, chipboard. chipboard. It's cardboard. It's actually a cereal box, but everybody calls it chipboard. And I do have chipboard, but it's thicker than a cereal box. And I'm not even trying to put that in my Gemini. It'll probably spit it right back out at me. Yeah. Even though it's supposed to be able to cut that. Oh, get back on here. All right. So we have. Come on. All right. So we have all our little pieces right in there. See my nails? See the pretty flowers? That's pretty yep. pretty. Oh, my new purple nails. All right. Probably shouldn't have left this wax open like that, but we're going to use it right now anyway. So let's get all of our feathers colored, and then we'll be ready to go, and I'll show you kind of what I'm going to be doing. All right. So we'll get all these colored. Probably should have cleaned up that Fabri-Tac first. Maybe I'll do that. Where's my lid? There it is. Give me my little knife. And this, I love this mat. Again, Tuesday morning. It's actually a cutting board. But it's that tempered glass, so it's pretty safe to work on. And it just, to me, it just cleans up a lot easier than anything else. All right. Now these will move around a bit. Let's get our brush. Where's our brush? Let's do this little tiny one first. Right, push it over. Let's do this one. And I'm telling you, this wax goes a long way. Yeah, that stuff will last for a long, long time. Unless you're like me and you use it on everything. <laughs> everything in your project. All that you're doing and you've already done, you still haven't used that much of it, right? Nope. Well, I think this is the only one that Paula used. I did get these from Paula from her. D stash, and I think this was the only one sh that she used. So, again, I just want to pick up the veins of the feather. So, you just got to take your time, be patient a little bit. Okay, that one. I gotta get those brushes too. Yeah, these brushes are amazing. I I bought them. I can't tell you how many months ago I bought them, and they've been sitting over there at my other desk that I was gonna use for my um journals. And we know how that went, being it's just all filled with stuff again, even after I clean. But I was on Cats, which is perfectly imperfect crafts. Um, and she was using them, and it reminded me. I'm like, oh my god, I have these brushes. I've been I want to use them for my distressing, and I just kept forgetting. And it's like day one day would come and go, the next day would come and go, and then Friday's live, and I'd forget again. And so, thank you, Kat, for reminding me. Like I said, you can uh, go check them out on Amazon. Um, Walmart does carry the three pack, so it's up to you. And I'm just barely dabbing that brush in the uh, in the wax. I'm telling you, oh my God, it smells so good. Now I don't smell the bad smells like that, but I can smell this from right here. And my nose isn't quite working today because I'm all stuffed up. Okay. They do look like metal. It almost looks like a penny, you know, like an old penny. Mm-hmm.
So I've only seen the start of um, Mags working on uh, her Doyle book. So I'm excited to see what she's doing. I did see one page. I've got quite a bit done. It's no way near finished. Got quite a bit done. You crank through that stuff all the time. It's like I I don't know. I'm 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 just not a quick crafter. I'm a cranker. What can I say? Oh my gosh, you didn't just say that. I'm a cranker. Really? Yeah, really. All right. Couple more to go, then we'll get on to the fun part. Although, see, all this part is fun to me. Anything, anything that I'm adding into a mixed media piece is all fun to me. And I will be doing a lot more of these. Um, so I'm really excited. I ordered a kit from uh, from Nikki and um, Crystal? Crystal's Crystal's group. Yeah, I told you my brain. I haven't slept in thirty something hours. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm surprised you're. Um, as lucid as you are. Yeah, Crystal and Nikki's group. Um, it's called Queen's Craft Fair. And it's they do mixed media classes and stuff. Not that I don't know how to do mixed media, but we can all learn new tips and stuff that other people may know that we don't know. And it's an amazing kit and you get some amazing stuff in it. So I cannot wait to see what we're going to create with it. And that, you know, they teach cl the classes and stuff and they had a beginner class, which I really didn't need to take. Um, and I missed most of it. And then the intermediate was next. So, uh, and the kit looks amazing. So I was really excited to get it. So I know on June 3rd, I believe they'll be teaching the, uh, they're going to teach the girls how to use their Lindy's and I may learn something. I don't know because I do have Lindy's, but I use them just how I use them. If, you know, there could be a specific way. I do know a couple tricks on using them and, you know, how you should shake them and stuff. But, you know, I'm sure there will be something I can learn because I like learning new things every day. And if you just go very lightly, it'll it'll grab that vein. And make it stand out. That's weird that those look like metal. I can't. That is just freaking me out right now. They do look like yeah. metal feathers sitting there. They do. What can I? What can I figure out next, Mags? <laughs> you know. I don't know, but I'm sure something will come to you at some point. You know, I think being able to do full wood and full metal is awesome. I don't think you really want to do anything else. <laughs> like, who wants to do full plastic? That's true. But you could do different metals, like mm -hmm. aluminum. Yep. Copper. That looks like a bronze. Yeah, doesn't me. it? really pretty that's all I know and my purple is just as pretty all right guys we're almost done with this part and then we can start constructing well no not yet because I have to create something inside the canvas and hopefully I won't mess it up if I do I'll just scrape it off and we'll start again you know because they're there's no rewinding or editing. We're just going to be live. And what you see is what you see. So, and we all make mistakes because, you know, there's only one perfect person in this world. And that would be God. It's not me. I'm going to go around the edges first and then I'll go to those inside corners. I have an idea where I want this. I'm not sure if it's gonna work yet, so that's why I may or may not use it, but it's still in a uh, embellishment or piece of ephemera, whatever, it could be a piece of ephemera if you wanted. I already have an idea, Mags, for, <laughs> oh boy. See, when I'm, when I'm doing mixed media, all these ideas just start 
coming to coming to my mind. Yeah, and I just like to highlight the the edges. And there we go. Just so it stands out a little more. So that is all done. All right. So I'm just going to wipe this with a baby wipe real quick. Close up my lap. And I think we're done with that for now. I'm almost sure we're pretty much done with it, period. All right. We're going to bring our canvas over. Move our dress form. Please. All right, being as I'm putting her down and I want something in the back, I thought I would do like a tree in the back. And I don't have any die cuts for that. So I was going to maybe do a blue gun tree. And then I'm like, why don't I just use some texture paste and a palette knife and see. And then we'll just cover it with black gesso and see if we can get a tree going. I might need this one. This one might work better. We're going to use this one. Now, I, I haven't done this before, so, you know, you, I'm learning right along with you guys. So, just let's hope it works, okay? Let's hope I can make a tree. I kind of started drawing out one. So, I'm going to look at my picture just to see if that will help me a little bit. See if I can get an idea what I want to do. I just figured being as I have all the leaves and stuff, I wanted a tree. All right. And we're going to use our texture paste. And you may not see all of it, but the branches and stuff will be coming out. So we're going to just see if we can drop some of this down and make a tree. Like I said, I haven't tried this, so this is something new for me. where the small side will come in handy. And I just want to drag it around a little bit first. Be nice if I had a tree stencil or something, wouldn't it? I think this needs to be a little bit better. And I wanted to do this just to give the background some um, dimension and something back there. So hopefully this won't take forever to dry. Like I said, you're not going to see part of this down here. I more want you to see what's coming up over here. And I'm just going to start getting some arm, arms. I'm going to start getting some arms in here. <laughs> Because, <laughs> you know, trees have arms. Didn't you know that? Another one of my favorite things is texture paste. I love texture paste. I remember my first mixed media canvas I did, and it's hanging up on my wall. It's uh, actually my picture for my for my YouTube, and that was I loved making that one too. That one was a thought process because I hadn't done um, mixed media in a very long time. This is right when I was first getting on YouTube, and I know I got some crazy branches going on, but like I said, it's just to give it some dimension. It'll all work out. Hmm? It's a, it, it'll all work out. I hope so. I'm not used to freehanding a tree, but this is kind of fun. <laughs> I'm liking this. And I'm not going to go all the way up and over because, like I said, it's going to be behind there and you're not going to see it. I want you to see what's over here. No. 
And it doesn't have to be perfect. I guess if we're going to cover it with black texture paste and probably use some, you know, distress glitter or some, um, what do I want to say, microbeads and stuff like that. It's a little bit along of a branch there, but that's okay. It's going to be covered up with gesso anyway. I like how it's coming out. Yeah, I think it's looking pretty cool so far. Like I said, I mainly want to work on over here, you know, the branches. That's a little bit of a striped branch there. I think that looks really cool. I'm not used to making a tree with texture paste, guys. So, you know, this is something new for me. Well, you should probably do more of that. Yeah? Yeah. I wouldn't lie to you or kid you. That's coming out pretty cool for a freehand texture paste tree. They have these trees around here. I call them brain trees, and they're just starting to bloom, you know, because we've had such a late spring. And uh, they look like, you know, how they show when you're, you're, the neurons and stuff fire in your brain, mm -hmm. you know, and they all just burst out all over. Oh, these trees are gorgeous. And um, I told Cam I want to borrow her camera because I want to go out and, take some pictures of these these trees i've been taking pictures like over the winter and stuff of trees just because um they're amazing i got some great ones when we had that wicked storm with all that ice and snow and uh get these branches a little bit fatter over here so i can get them moving a little more This is that back branch. So we need this coming down over here. Like I said, I mainly want it for what's back, what's over here on the sides. Just just so you can, uh, let's see here, this one, let's go up this way. Like I said, you're not going to see all this back here. So that's where the dress form is going to be. And I don't want to put too much because we're going to have to... Uh, I know someone's going to teach me how to work with uh, with these knives because, you know, I'm not used to doing this. So, like I said, this is a learning for me, too, here, guys. I just wanted to try something new. Let's bring this one down a little bit over here. Come on down. I think a lot of people are uh, having parties and stuff today. Oh, yeah, all weekend. Let's get this one a little bit better here. Branch coming down here. Choose this side. Over here, over here. All right, let's get some going down here. It's a little funky branch there, but that's okay. We can make this one a little wider just so it looks better. Make this a little wider and get this tree going out a little further.
All right. And like I said, you're not going to see um, the top part, so I'm not going to even worry about going over there. Come on. Play nice. There we go. Let's get a couple over here. Yeah, you want to go up a little, bring it up a little higher. So we can All right, I'm pulling it towards me, aren't I? There. Perfect. Oh, that's a big, that almost looks like a Halloween tree, doesn't it? All right, I, wanna, yeah, I think that should be good. I'm looking with it, Laurel. Just trying to see where I can fill it in a little bit. All right, I think that should be good. I just wanted to give some background. Now we can put, I think I'm going to put some of that um, distress glitter on there. But I wonder if I should, yeah. Because it's not going to come out black. So I'm going to have to let this dry and then gesso it. And then um, maybe put some glue on there. And then put some of that on there. Some of my um, heavy gel. So we're going to have to dry this with the heat gun. So you guys shouldn't hear it after a second. So just bear with me a minute. They're probably like, boy, she's doing a, a tree, a, a tree canvas. <laughs> yep, you're fine. That's really cool. Actually, what I should have done is mixed my um, my spray in with this. I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to spray the tree. Yeah. Because I don't want to cover it all with black and then have to do something over it. I probably should have put the color in the... Uh, Well, not too bad for my first uh, texture tree. I think it looks awesome. I'm dying for coffee. So I'm like, We're going to lunch. Okay. Going to bring me some coffee all the day. Gotta keep awake here. <laughs> There's a little touch and go this morning. When I was waiting for you, I'm like, oh, okay, Laurel, just keep moving. Just <laughs> keep swimming. You know. I still can't believe you stayed up. Oh, oh my god, my god. I, I was so into this. I couldn't stop. I just couldn't stop. And um, I know I've given you um, ladies this tip. If you cut your the stem to the nozzle on an angle, your lindies won't clog and you never want to shake up and down. You just want to shake back and forth like this because you don't want all the mica to go up, you know, in there and these, these water bottles all Every water bottle I have has a problem. So that's why a lot of my old ones that I use during my scrapbooking days don't work anymore because I shook them. Right. Well, if you take them out and you let them soak in hot water, you should be fine. And usually to unclog a spray bottle, if you take it out of the sprayer and you spray out of the bottle and you spray it upside down. Oh, okay. It, it'll clean it out. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to move this away and I'm going to spray it and I'm going to see what happens. I don't want to turn all this that color. But I want the tree. Oh, actually, that looks cool like that. So 
I really don't mind it on the black. I would like it, there we go, a little darker. So we're just going to do it all back here. Look at that. Oh, now my that God. Cool. Freaking cool. So that looks cool. So I like that. Oh my, it, it, It's like it gave it grains of wood. Yes. Yes, it did. I'm going to spray all the way around because I kind of like that color. And I've, you, my hands are just a wreck. But yeah, that looks cool. It does. Wow. Again. Not that you're going to see any of it because the dress is going to be covering up most of it. I would like it a little darker because there's not any light in here. But like I said, you're not going to see a whole lot of it. Yeah, but it's still pretty cool. And I added the tree, guys, because of all the leaves. You'll see once I get going. Love this color. I love the mica. Mm -hmm. All the shimmer. And then we might add some of this. Lorel always has a method to her madness. Huh? I said you yeah, always, there's always have a method to my madness. madness. It just always seems to work out somehow. I think that's why I like mixed media. It's always like, hey. So we're just going to add some, um, just because I want some, you know. I'm going to drag some of this down. And it's just funny how all this just happens to go together. Again, this is just to give some, you know, dimension and stuff to the back. And put some on the other side as well. I love that color on the black. Oh my God, it looks amazing. We can probably put some uh, micro beads in here as well. With some uh, medium after this dries. Like I said, you're not going to see a lot of it, but. Just a little on each side. Maybe a little bit here and there on the tree. Oh yeah, that looks cool. See, just wing it as you go. Ladies, you never know what it's gonna turn out. Look, I created grain in a tree to make oh. it look like that just, yeah, That's love that. That's the fun of just putting stuff together, you know. Love that. This will just give it some, uh, brighten it up a little bit. Dry your eye there a little bit. I don't know if you guys can see that. Can you see that? Yeah, you can. Somebody just pinged me up. Had to have been my daughter, so let me look real quick. Sorry, guys. I do keep my phone on. My daughter's always out, so um, nope, it wasn't me. That's weird. I know I heard a ping. Yeah, sorry. It was it was me. Oh, it's okay. I thought it, it sounded like it was mine. Like I said, you're not going to see this, but I know it's there. <laughs> they know me and. Paul and them were, were just talking about that the other night about covering and covering, covering and going, well, I know it's there, but I'm, I'm the same way with certain things. It's like, I can't just half do it. I have to do the whole thing, even though you're not going to, now I don't like to cover up everything. I don't want to waste a bunch of stuff that you're never going to see. I always leave some peeking out somewhere. You got to always have it peeking out somewhere. So yeah, I like that. We're going to add some micro beads too because I think that'll look cool. Let me get a baby wipe for the spatula. See, now I'm just kind of, as I'm going along, my mind's, my mind's thinking of, okay, what can I add next? What can I do next? Now, I've never used this bull bunny before, but I like that. 
The glitter, uh, glitter paste is cool. Glitter, what is it? Glitter paste. Yep. Wow, I got it right. All right. And then what I want? Some uh, micro beads, right? Do I want distro? Oh, yeah. I want micro beads. Where are they? Right here. And we're going to add. Yeah, we're going to add this rose. And these haven't even been opened. So let me get a very sharp knife that I'm going to be very careful with. And then we'll just use some of the gel medium medium to put this down. Although it'll probably stick right to that glitter too. Um, let me dry this a little bit first. <laughs> See if I can dry this just a little bit. I'm probably going to bring some out around the sides. And, oh yeah. See, now my mind's going. I just love the color in there on that black. And I know you're not going to see it. But Can you hear me? Yes. I said yes, but maybe you couldn't hear me. Yeah, I love that color. I know you guys can't see it, but oh my God, it looks so cool on the black. It's such a cool color. All right, that was me that time, wasn't it? No? God, it sounds like me. All right, let's get that out of the way. All right, we want some, we want some beads. So let's see if we can do this without messing up our uh, our nice glitter paste here. So I'm just going to chunk some on here and go like this. And like I said, I have my own style, guys, to how I do stuff. I'm sure there's a specific way you're supposed to do things, and but I'm self-taught, and this is how I create. So I just will tell you what I think works and, you know, may not work. Like we found out that the Elmer's glue is not good for making faux wood pieces. You know, that, that, was, that was a no-go. All right, I just want to add a little bit of them. I'm sure I'll add more later around here. But we got to work on other stuff first. So I have a little spoon. So let me grab it. And now I have a little spoon. Let me get it. I have a little spoon and a little fork over here. And I keep this one like for my beads. <laughs> I think it's so cute. See my little spoon, Mags? <laughs> oh, crown. Yeah, I like that. And then we can push them down in afterwards. I just like texture and dimension. And, and they're probably going to fly all over too, but that's okay. I don't want a lot. I just want a little texture up there. And this will dry clear so you won't you won't ever see it. All right, that's good. I just wanted to add a little texture up there. All right, let's close these up for now. Close up our text. And this needs a soak in some water. And now we will oh, let me dry this a little because what I'll do is I'll smear it right as we're getting ready to go. See those little beads are flying up. The little beads are flying everywhere. That's going to be so amazing when it's done, just so you all know. Hold on, I can't hear you a second, man. You did that touch your face a little bit. So it's probably going to take a little bit to dry. Go ahead, Max. No, I was actually talking to the people that will oh. be watching. I What'd you said say? It. Now I forget what I said. <laughs> I think what? it's going to be amazing when it's done. <laughs> oh. All right. And actually, I'm using Fabri-Tac again, guys. I'm going to use it to apply um, this beautiful lace to the uh, dress form. 
all in the back where you're not going to see it. So I'm just gluing back here, making a mess. My fingers are going to be all full of Fabri-Tac in a second. So unless I can use something else here, I don't want to use that. That'll eat away at it. Oh, where's one of my spatulas? That's what I need, a spatula. Let's find a spatula. I thought I was prepared here. All right, you're telling me none of my spatulas are here? Come on. How do I not have a spatula? I have two purple spatulas, and neither one of them is around. Sorry for the noise, guys. But it's got to be right here somewhere. And it's, you believe it or not, it's not. Neither one of them is where they're supposed to be. All right, I'm going to have to use my fingers. I'm just going to use my fingers and get them all sticky. Because you're not going to see the back of this anyway. Right. I don't understand where my spatulas are. That doesn't make any sense. Oh, the Menahunis probably. <laughs> yep. You remembered it. It's those darn Menahunis. I'm Do telling you, they're such thieves. They're always moving my stuff around, trying to make me crazy. All right. There we go. And that's exactly how I wanted it. On the curve like this, across the side. Let me get my little snippers so I can snip around the top of that because I may have to touch it up with some gesso. I don't want all this squeaky here. How, how, I'm telling you, it sounded like I was cutting uh, metal last night. Mm -hmm. And I had to use both hands. It just did not want to cut through here. All right, much smoother. So let's get a little dab of some black gesso on there. I'm trying to be neat and put everything right back where it was when I was done using it. All right, I just need a tiny little brush. So let's just brush along the top of here just so you don't see that white. There we go. All right, that's good. Just a little bit. Looks like the sun's actually trying to come out now. Yay! Yay, yeah, sun. It's been icky all morning. All day, ever since last night. Remember I lost power? Yep. It was like downpouring, the thunder, the lightning was crazy. I wanted to add some black in here as well. So I pulled out a couple. I just want to see which one I think will work up under here. So I'm actually going to pull this backwards because I wanted to add some black in here. Come on. So let's see. I don't have a black that um, is ruffled, so I'm going to try and make this ruffle a little bit. Usually if I do it on an angle, but I'd like it to follow that same angle. Let's see how that looks with the black under there. Yeah, I like it with the black under there. Let's try a different one, though. Maybe not that one. Sorry, guys. We have to play the indecisive game for a few minutes. I'm just pinching it. I could probably do a running stitch real quick. All right, I don't like that one. I already don't like that one. I mean, I like it, but I don't like it for this. So I think it's going to be this one. I'm just going to have to figure out how to get this to... Um, gather together. So I might have to cut this in a few spots. Look at that pattern, though. Isn't that pretty? That is pretty. But the flat laces are really, you know, unless your machine yeah. gather it. I'm going to, um, I'm going to cut these a little bit and then glue them just so I can get them to gather. Because you're not going to see this up under there anyway. And I'm going to glue them together so I don't want it big and bulky under there. Right. 
and we can just glue these together. That gets some fabric tack. I could probably cut them at the bottom too, just to get it to flare a little bit, but that's okay. I usually use my hot glue for this, but of course my hot glue gun is not prepared at the moment. So we're gonna hope this fabric tack dries quick. And it usually doesn't on fabric. If you stick fabric to something, it will, but not to itself. So we may have to wait just a minute for my glue gun. So let's just hold up a minute because I don't want to wreck my project now. I know what I'm trying to accomplish, so. And I think the hot glue gun, even though you don't like to use it, will make the ruffling easier than the fabric tack. Yeah, yeah, it will. All right, so we're just going to rest for a minute. We'll talk to Mags. And, you know, if Mags was really, really sweet, she'd switch her camera so we could see for a minute what she's doing. Well, I guess I could do that. Wait a minute. Let me, let me switch. Yeah, it's going to take me a minute. I also have to okay. move it. That's fine. Well, I look like I got a disaster going on on my desk right now. <laughs> got an upside down doll and her dress is above her head and Okay, hold on one second. I have to glue this part one. down. <laughs> Oh, good coffee. My throat is like, yeah. Yeah, dry? Yeah, almost like sandpaper. All right, give me one more second. Just, okay. I just don't want it to fall off when I go to show you. All right, let me just put I'm the sure they'll be happy to wait. <laughs> oh, oops. We're almost getting to the fun part, people. I'm excited. People, All right, let me see. I just need to see if we can bring it up a little more because otherwise you won't be able to see. Oh, well, you can see most of it, I guess. Okay. Yeah, okay. Let me know when, is it on me? It's on you. Oh, love that. Okay, so this is the, it's about fairies and this is the cover. The front cover and when you look this is a woodland fairy and her wings are actually tree branches so i made out of um that night that you and i were doing, doing the wood, the wood. yeah the tree this is just pieces of i die uh-oh are you there mags of course, the minute I click on her, we're going to lose Mags. Watch. Maggie. Uh-oh. All right, I'm going to click back on me because I don't know if you guys are, if it went to her thing, but I have a feeling we're going to lose her and she'll be back. So we'll just click back on me. She's been having problems with her hangout lately. So my glue gun, yep, she's sending me a message now. Yeah. It just booted her out. I know it did. She's going to, uh, yeah, she's like, my computer shut off. I don't believe it. All right. Well, my glue gun should be ready, so we should be okay. Should be hot enough to do this. Oh, of course, that one's, that one's ready and dried now. Only took 10 minutes. I just need a little bit of glue to get this gathered. I just don't want it all, um, I don't want it, what's the word I want to use? I don't want it all bunchy. There we go. I don't want it all bunchy. I just want to gather it a little bit so I can play with it a little bit. There we go. It's going to be up under this dress anyway, so let's lift this up a little bit. All right. 
And I want to do it a little bit on an angle because I want it to go on an angle. So let's pull this side up a little. Bring this up and around. And get this one a little bit more. Hold on. Bring this one over a little more. There we go. Go around and I wish I could get it to come down, but it's not a wide enough black lace. But I think just the black under there, maybe if I just did it on an angle. All right. I'm going to redo this a little bit. I'm going to pull up. Of course, everything's drying now. That's okay. I'm going to do this way up on an angle. If I cut it, then it would work. All right. Let's get some glue on here. Just so I can get this started. All right. And we'll go this way. bring it in. Sorry guys, I'm on a frame. I had to bring it in to look at me a sec. And again. I'm just trying to give it some gathers to drag it downward. You're not going to see any of this when it's done anyway. And I will back it up with some Fabri-Tac. I just want to keep going downward a little bit with this. All right, let's get this piece stuck over here because it's not stuck. Got to keep my other dress up above it. So I'm just pinching it just to keep it going downward. Oh, that's my nail. <laughs> Good thing it's my nail and not my finger, right? All right, there we go. We've got it going downward on an angle, which is what I want. We'll do this right here. Can't believe I can't find any of my spatulas. That's just crazy. I don't know where they could all fall went. All right. Let's get this glued up in here. I really could use a spatula right now. <laughs> Gotta be right around here somewhere, you would think, right? right. I certainly don't want to burn my fingers because that glue gun is hot. All right. That's what I wanted. I want it all bunched up down at this this corner right here. So we're gonna keep doing this a little bit more. Oh, that's hot. Glue guns are hot, people, just so you know. <laughs> Though we've all burned ourselves a million times. All right. All right. Now we're just going to reinforce all these together. All right. There we go. I just wanted it to come down and hang. So I'm going to cut it right about, and I want to try and follow the pattern a little bit. So I'm going to pull it up so you guys can see what I'm doing. Because I'm going to make it curl. So I'm going to cut it. Let's just cut it straight across here, and then we'll figure out where to cut it from there. So let's get this. All right. Because I want that coming out as well. All right, and I know this looks terrible, but it won't when I'm done. This is why I don't like hot glue, because it is just, it's all over my nails and all over my fingers, because I don't have my spatula. 
It's not that much fun to get off your nails. All right. So let's see, because I want this to twist. Because I want the late, there we go, perfect. And it usually does. It usually just falls right into place where I want it. And we'll glue this one down. So I'm gluing it on the parts where you're not going to see it because it's um, got a solid fabric in there. There we go. So now we can pull this one back down. Come on. Might have went up a little too high, so we're going to have to get this over this. There we go. There we go. Oh, did my curl come out? No. All right, let's glue this one down too. Hold on one sec. I know you guys can't see what I'm doing. I'm sorry. It's a long piece. And uh, all right, so I'll kind of show you what I did. So I've got it just coming down. It's all ruffled here. And then I've got it twisted at the bottom just so it follows the same thing here. And it's going to hang off the canvas. So there we go. So that's that. So now we're going to put on the wings or her wings as we will call them. And these are going to go right here like this. Look at that. See? Right at the tree. Right like that. I'm going to just check it out just so I make sure I have it where I want it. So I'm going to turn it a little bit. Just want to make sure it's right where I want it. And see, you can just see the tree branches coming out. But trust me, this is all going to be filled in with something very shortly. All right, and this piece has to go behind here. There we go. Get it down. And this has to come up. I just have to look at the picture on my phone because I did take a picture of it. I just want to make it. Um, Make sure it's in the right place. So let me go to my gallery and see how I had it. Oh, I didn't even take a picture of it with that. I just took a picture of those two things. No, I didn't. Come on now. Yep, I guess I did. So it's all going to be a guessing game right now, guys. Sorry, I had to get a drink of coffee. I don't like this though. There we go. All right. All right. So this has got to go right there because her wings are more on her back, not not down here at her neck. They got to be at her back. So that's got to go right about there. So I have to put my um. Because I'm not going to have a whole lot holding this on. So that's why I like this stuff. So that's probably Maggie saying she's restarting. I've got hot glue going everywhere. Because, you know. She'll probably tell me she restarted. Let me see. Sorry, guys. But this is the, no the, this is, this is the normal things that happen. These are the crises. This is real crafting. This is what happens. So I'm going to stand up because I just want to make sure and see it's crooked. We don't want crooked wings. And see how I did that just so it gives some dimension over there on the sides. I'm back. Yay. Welcome back. <laughs> Thanks for joining yeah. us and coming back. <laughs> yeah, I have to. Doing that weird to talking to myself. Thing. I know. I couldn't believe it. Just spray her a little bit and give her some of that color. So I'm just going to take her over here to my paper and spray her a little bit, guys. Love those wings. Yeah, I just want to give her some color. I know. So do I. I just want to give it some of the color. Love that. There we go. Mm -hmm. I had to stand up because I just can't see what I'm doing sitting down. Yeah, and you can still see the 
you know, quite a few of the branches. Mm -hmm. That's what I said. I just wanted them peeking out, but I had to be careful with this because now I have to put down the model. The model. I'm using modeling paste. Did you know that? You so are. Sure I get a thick amount there, and this will hold once it's dry. Don't worry. And you guys aren't going to see it. So, and then I got to get some under these two top corners. So that will hold like E6000 does? Yes, this stuff is crazy strong. It like holds everything. Cool. And it dries clear, so. Yeah. I just got to make sure it's getting in both places. Don't want that there. Give me a, a brush. That's what I need. I need a brush. All right, there we go. So hopefully that'll hold. Hopefully I got it under there enough. We're going to stick some more under there, though, just to be sure. Because I don't want this coming apart. There we go. All right, that's that. And then now we have to get the dress down. And we got to get that out of there again. But like I said, it's going to dry clear. You're not going to see it. But this stuff is so sticky and so strong. All right. All right, that should be good. Are you there, Max? Yeah, I'm. Um I'm right here. Now, are you going to use that to keep the dress form on there also? Yes. Okay. I'm actually going to glue the dress form to the canvas and to wherever it's wherever it touches. Mm -hmm. It's going to have glue. Just got to make sure this dress, the material's out of the way. Well, you should have seen me glue in the black part. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. <laughs> All right, so let's get this up here. Does this look straight? Yep. All right, so where is this touching? Yeah, this isn't... Uh, I'm trying to think if there's something else I can do to get that on there, because that's not going to be held on by much. Hmm. Let me think about this for one second, guys. Where is it touching? The top and the yeah, very bottom? Here and here. Yeah, and then the very bottom. And I'm wondering if um, there's something I can put, like, around her waist and through the canvas because mm -hmm. it's going to be covered up anyway. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I think I may take a piece of wire. Sorry, guys. I'm just trying to – I don't want this to come apart. And – I know what'll work. So we're going to take a piece of wire and we're going to go around here and I'm going to poke two little holes and go through the canvas because you're not going to see it anyway um, once I get going with these leaves. Right. So this is, you know, you, when you're working on it, this is how you get it to go. You just think as you go. All right, let me get this open. I could use string. I wonder if I should use a ribbon instead because then I can tie it in a bow in the back mm -hmm. and it won't look so bad. See, just keep thinking. Keep thinking. Yep. Let's find a ribbon. This one, this color should work perfect right here. So let's get that one. And then we're going to have to cut um, two holes in our canvas and I have my very sharp pokey tool right here this dangerous thing so let's push this on here and figure out where we need to go through right about here good thing you won't see that 
And then right about, let's see, where's that one? Right about here. I can hear all those micro beads <laughs> moving all mm -hmm. around, all the ones that were loose. Yeah. Right, now I just need to push my ribbon through there. And again, you are not going to see this, guys, by the time I'm done. You'll see. All right. Well, so that pokey tool is not going to work because it's too sharp. So let's get something a little rounder. I'm probably out of frame, right? Right. No, well, now you are, but right. you weren't. I'll move over in a second. Yeah, no, you just weren't. I'm just this hole. All right. Yeah, this will work much better than trying to find a way to put a little bit of glue on a spot. Right. I would worry about not that not that this stuff won't hold, but there's not much. You know, not nothing. There's barely any of that um, dress form touching. So. Right. I don't want to worry about. It coming apart. So we're going to turn it over for a second and we're going to tie a bow. And look at that. It's almost right in the middle of the canvas. Little crooked, but that's okay. And I always go through twice. That pulls it really tight and it keeps it like you can let go and it'll still hold. And we're going to tie a bow. And I will probably glue this bow later. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Oh, yeah. All right. And it's, it's pretty tight on there. Now I can add a little bit of the um, matte gel. Oh, God. It's so tight I can't lift it up to fix the dress. <laughs> Come on. Well, and you won't have to worry about it coming off either. No, because it doesn't even want to move so I can fix my dress. There's something stuck right here. There it is. It's a little piece stuck. I have to get it unstuck. There we go. All right. All right, straighten her out, pull her back up, and then we'll put our paste right under her two shoulders right there. Just a little bit right there, and a little bit on the other side. If I pull this tight enough, but just push on it for a minute, it should hold. I mean, I'll pull, I'll pull this ribbon tighter. So let's turn this over. Pull this a little bit tighter without crushing our dress form. We're ripping our canvas. This is where you need three fingers. I'm actually going to tie it in and that. And then tie it. Yeah, if you double knot it. All right, I'll bullet later. There, yeah, that's not going to go anywhere. There, that's not going anywhere. All right. Okay, now we can start the fun part. This needs to be there. Let's get our other wings on. These are going up here because I like these. I want them right here, like that. Right there. All right, and. These go on here. I just got to remember which two I had where. So this is going to go here. And this is going to go like. Just got to play around with them. There. And this will go here. We have enough of them, so. I just want to put them everywhere. I think they should go. Well, yep, definitely need five. We got to have an, you know, got to have enough to draw the eye's attention. You know, what is it more pleasing to the eye? Mm -hmm. 
All right, and that one up there. And then this one is actually going to go right here like this. I just think that looks so cool. And this one, where is this? Where did I plan on putting this one? I had a spot for this. Maybe it was up here somewhere. But she has a thing that's going to go around her neck right here. And I have rose, rose gold metal mixative, so I'm going to use that. Hopefully it's right here where I can see it. Because all my stuff likes to disappear. And they actually do have rose gold metal mixatives, believe it or not. Here it is. See, rose gold. So we got to shake this really good until you hear that thing moving inside. Oh my gosh. And this dries like really quick too. And I should have my gloves on, but just so it's not such a bright gold. Give me a little brush. Teeny tiny little brush. I guess I don't want it to look gold, gold. Sorry, guys, I'm not in camera, but I can't see it, so I have to pull it up. I think Maggie may have had to mute for a second. I did, but I'm back. Okay. Sorry. All right, so we're going to close this up. Let's look at I'm going to get this done. I know. I can't, I can't wait to do the leaves. That's the part <laughs> I want to do in the feathers. And then um, this, I think, is going to go... I'm going to bend it, um, lift it up and put it in the, I was thinking about putting it in the middle. Yeah. Something looks off center here. I don't like off center. Well, I mean, I'm looking at it and it looks fine to me, but are you still standing up? Yes, I'm standing up looking down over it. Okay. This one might actually be too big. I might have to use. The little metal one I pulled out over here and just change it. Oh, I know I pulled it out. I know I, I can grab one. It's right behind me. Or I was going to put this in the center, but I want to change this color. I want to see if this paste, where's my paste? My wax. I want to see if my wax will work on this. Oh my goodness, here we go with this can again. I want to see if it'll actually change the color of that pearl. It probably won't, but we're going to find out right now. No, well, the key would be that. is if it stays on, you know. Yeah, it won't work on there. It changes yeah. it a little bit, but not enough. Not enough. Yeah, yeah that's I think true. that's too. I think this is too, too much for this. Like yeah, that. Yeah, it's too, too stark. Yeah. And I really don't have anything metal in here. I mean, that's a little bit softer, but. No. All right, so I definitely, and I had a heart out too, and that really doesn't go either. So I think I'm going to get the butterfly and just do it with the rose gold, because this butterfly is actually too big. It hides, but it may go on here somewhere, because you know who I am about my butterflies. All right, so let's. What if you took the leaf off the bodice and put the butterfly on the on the ribbon? Well, this isn't going to show. Remember? Oh, okay. None of that's going to show in a couple okay. minutes. All right. I need my little tweezers. Oh, maybe not. Everything's like disappearing on me all of a sudden. Those darn Menahunis. <laughs> I was going to say, what are you talking about all of a sudden? You're always having stuff disappear. All right. There we go. But this is still going to stay here. But I, I just, I don't know, something about the whole thing. It just, it just kind of goes. So now I got to get all these pieces to stay down. And that's going to be the net. You know, I wonder if I'd be better off. 
I just am not a hot glue fan. It just doesn't do it for me. And I would rather do use the paste or the gel, the medium. The gel. It just holds better. It just doesn't have a lot to hang on to, you know. Mm -hmm. So we got to hope that holds. Hold. Did I say hope that holds? Yeah, that was yeah. right. Yeah, it was right. I think I haven't had enough sleep. <laughs> I don't think you, I'm you haven't had any sleep. I don't know what I'm talking about. You haven't had any. All right. You are going to crash. <laughs> yeah, some, sometime I'm going to crash and burn tonight. But not right now. I'm having way too much fun right now. All right, this one's got to go. I think I don't like them all facing the same direction like this. But I got to get them so that they're somewhat touching something, you know. They got to be touching something for me to glue it. There we go. And then this one, this one can come this way. There we go. We'll just stick that part up in there. There's a little lip in there. I just had it a second ago. Of course, now because I want it to go in there, it's not going to. Where'd it go? There it is. So I'm going to put a little bit under here. Like I said, most of this is going to be we covered up in a minute. What you're doing, you know. Oh, I know. I'm just trying um, to glue well, the piece on. Yep, that's good. I'm just trying to get this piece glued on somehow. I may have to come in here with some hot glue, but I mean, I know this, I know this will hold and you're not right. going to see a lot of this anyway, once I get these leaves going. So I just want something touching somewhere. All right. See, that one's already starting to hold down there. I mean, it only takes a little, the stuff is so super sticky. Yeah, what is it? Heavy gel medium? Yeah, this is a heavy gel medium. Yeah, I think I don't know. I had to have to look. I don't know if I have heavy. And it's all going to dry clear anyway. Mm -hmm. I mean, you're not going to see it. I'm just trying to do this a little bit at a time so I can see what I need to put glue on and where. It is like a glue, so I call it glue because it is like a glue. Yeah. All right, I think that's all of those. I don't like that. All right, let's hope those all stay and then we'll get these glued on. All right, go out of my way bottle. See, I knew I was going to do that. Touch somewhere I didn't want to touch. All right. Sorry, guys, I'm concentrating. <laughs> All right, now bring the frame down just a little bit more and then they can see what you're doing. Yep, that's good. Probably a little too much gel there. Hold on a sec. Well, if there weren't 8 million things in my way here, I'd be okay. Try this again. I mean, I don't know why I'm so worried. It does. It's gonna dry I, clear. No, you said it dry clear. It's it bothering clear. me. It was bothering me. <laughs> That's all. All 
All right. And then I need that butterfly or something for in the center there. All right. So now we got to start with our leaves. And now there's no rhyme or reason. I just have to start putting them down somewhere. Is all. <laughs> I want some up and some down. So we're going to stick that through there. And we'll just start layering them. Why does it sound like our lawn guys are here again? They were just here yesterday that makes no sense <laughs> i don't know if you guys can hear them but the lawn guys are here nope well i can't hear anything all right so this is just going to be all about placement right now until i get going and i might want to use i really don't want to use my hot glue gun i'm sorry guys but i'm just afraid it won't stay and i know this stuff will stay so Let's see if I can do this. I can find my little tweezers. I don't know why everything seems to be disappearing. All right. Let's try this. Sorry, are you seeing the top of my head? Man. Just note, just one little speck of your hair, but not anymore. And if you hadn't mentioned it. <laughs> I'm going to stick some hot glue on here, too, just because I'll feel better. I mean, I don't trust it to stay. It's just not my uh, go-to glue. But hopefully it'll stay. And we can get all these glue strings off afterwards by just running our heat gun over here. All right. We need our piece to stay up here because I want to make sure where I'm going here with this. It's going to come down a little bit. I just like that leaf for some reason. All right, so that's I do too. And I just don't want, I don't want the metal showing. You know, the metal's all got to be hidden by the leaves. So we're going to go this way under this leaf like this. Put some hot glue. And trust me, I'm going to come back with my uh, modeling. Here I go again with my modeling paste. <laughs> with my gel medium. You guys help me out here. They're probably all like, Laurel, go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm finished, I'll go to bed. All right. Let's go this one. I like this because you can bend them all different ways. I know you guys can't see me playing with the leaves, but. Yep, I can see you very clearly. You're right in the middle. Yeah, because I can't see my hangout right now. I am actually crafting standing up. <laughs> Do you know what that's from, Mags? Um, you know. I do know. Uh-huh. <laughs> no, you you got me. <laughs> From Strange Magic. Remember when they're flying through oh, the forest? Oh. And she gets all mad? Yeah, I love that movie. <laughs> so do I. All right, let's cut this one a little bit shorter. Where is my chompers? That needs to be up in there. So we're going to cut it a little shorter. All right, because I need to cover up some right here. So let's get this glue down in here. And I need a glue stick, I see. You know, it's funny. I never need my, I never use my glue gun, but I'm always in need of a glue stick. 
That looks really awesome. Thank you. Well, when it's done, I think. I think it's really cool. It is very cool. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna go and stick. All right, actually, I need to sit for one second, Max. Can we finish seeing your doily book while I sit yeah, for a hopefully, second? Right. Yeah, hopefully yeah. I won't shut down again. Yeah. Just let no, me know when you clear. click over. When I click on you, you shut down. <laughs> Just let me know when you click over. All right, I will. All right, I'm clicking over now. Okay. So, as I was saying before I went black, um, her wings are tree branches. And I took that die cut that I used the wood glue on for the first time. And I just cut the tree apart and made the wings. And then I added to, and I thought these little, uh, spider flowers that I made kind of tie into the branches somehow. I don't know. I just thought it helped with the look. And it definitely goes together. And I used the flower trim going around the image and then around to cover up, you know, the edging of this tool that went around it. And then this is an applique here. And then I added another, I'm going to just call them spider flowers. That's what we call um, them, spider flowers. Yep. And I used um, an embroidered trim down the bottom. Usually I use a lot of dangles in that. But this time I decided on the front pages of the book, I was only going to use the doily trim. And then when you flip it over, I'm not done with this page. Let me move that out of the way. But you can see this is a little Prima Fairy. Yes. And so on this side, I used um, one Aww. trim down here. And I added more trim going around. And then Dad, to did you say you had some of the uh, the metallic wax? The what? Yeah, I'm gonna wax. do. Yeah, I'm gonna do oh, some. I was gonna say, yeah, if you just brush some on her; she'll pop right out. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna try that because I have a couple different colors, so I'm gonna try. And that's why I said it's not finished either. This was one of those doily embellishment pieces I made one night. I think yes. it was oh, probably on your live. So this page isn't quite finished. And then the next page is this fairy. Oh, look at that fairy. And I used this trim going around and um, to tie in like the, the blue, there's this piece here. And then this one I made Friday night, this embellishment piece here. And this one I made it like, I, I think I've made all of them on one of your lives. Yeah. <laughs> This one here and this one here. So I had them already made. And here's the embroidered um, tool trim that I used as a skirt on the bottom of this one. And I'm pretty sure Diana Spear Marbles 2012 sent me this um, for my birthday. She sent me this and I think the one on the end too. Um, like probably four or five years ago, I've been hoarding this. And the colors just seemed perfect. So, okay. And then you turn over the next page. Is this angel, uh, not angel. Fairy. Uh, fairy. And I used pinks and uh, it's more of a beigey than it is gray. And again, I used some more of my spider flowers. I made this last night or Friday night. I keep forgetting what day it is this dango piece here. And so on this side is a piece of this trim and I added some pearls to it. I'm not, I'm probably not completely done with any page yet, but I wanted to at least get, you know, 
the images on and part of it done. And then here's this one. All of them are beautiful fairies. Yeah. And I and love I, those is in there. Yeah, I don't, can you see, I used, um, when I, when I printed these, I printed it on a fabric that has sparkle to it. I don't That's know. That's right. Know. I remember that. Yeah, and it's on you all of them. See it if you look closely. What's that? You can see it. Yeah, I it's, mean, I it is you really it to me and You can see it. Okay, good, because it's it is really subtle. And then I used this flower applique. It's gold. I don't know if it's showing up as gold, but it really ties in with the color. And then um, I made this Friday night. And then here's a little flower I already made at another time. And then here's the tulle skirt for the bottom of this one. And then this one's not done. This, I haven't done anything to. I'm not sure if I'll make it a flower page or a pocket page yet. And then the last page is this one in the purples. There's the Yay. image. And here's another fairy, so I'll do the same thing to her. And this I made Friday night. This I made a different night. And this I, I made all three of them a different night. But I had them all ready, you know, to go for when I was knew what I wanted to do with them. And then right. I added flower trim and this tool trim around it. And um, this one might be done. This, but it might be the only one. Here's another spider. And then this is the back page. And this is done. I always keep the back page more simple. So it's just the um, trim at the bottom. There's one, two, three doilies. And then I put a, a larger rhinestone piece in the middle. And that's all I'm doing to the back page. And they're beautiful. So that's it. So, but I'm not done. And then I have to put it all together. But that's basically. I cannot believe how fast you put those together. I really can't. Yeah, but see, I had no. I know you have all the embellishments already made. And I started this like a couple of weeks ago, though. I just yeah. kept putting it to the side. But right. having the embellishments already made and these flowers, the different flowers, yeah. it just it makes it, it so much. It does help. So that's it. That's looking awesome. Cool. I love that first page with the branches. I really do. I really yeah, I, you know, I kind of felt a little strange only because the rest of the book doesn't have anything like this. Well, it has the two fairies now in, you right. know, the rest pieces, but I figured as long as it's on the cover, it doesn't matter. Right. It doesn't matter, but it looks amazing. Thank you. Loving it so far. Okay. I'll take the pressure off you okay. now. Okay. <laughs> and I need to back out a little bit because I think they need to see a little more of what I'm doing there. Oh, I love all those leaves. I know. I'm, you know, when it hit me, what I wanted to do with them, I wasn't sure how it was going to, you know, work out. But, oh, my God, I think it's going to look amazing when it's done. Yep, it is. Like I said, I'll shock myself when I finish it and go, I just made that. Mm -hmm. I really hate having things put together with a glue gun, but you know, sometimes you got to do what you got to do, I guess. I'm just not a huge glue gun fan. I would rather use, and Fabri-Tac will take too long because this is metal. And yeah. the modeling, the, uh, sorry guys, I am determined to call it modeling paste instead of heavy gesso. And I know it's our heavy medium, <laughs> no medium. <laughs> I she's tired. She's been up for about thirty-eight hours now. <laughs> I'm awake, but man, I need some serious shut eye or something you do. because I am struggling. You know, I think this butterfly would look really pretty right just here. Just so you don't the... freak out, I shut off my um, camera because I want to. Okay. I'm just want to sit here and watch. Do you, do you see that, Mags? I think it'll yes, look perfect I love if that. I stick the butterfly in there, and I'm going to put yes. some of the glitter I on want there. Her on that dress somehow. <laughs> yeah. It's definitely going to yep. be on there. I have That's a feeling perfect. I'm going to have to use some more leaves because these are not going to be enough. I already know not for how I want it to look. So I am going to have yep. to. Add well, you more. knew you weren't going to finish it today. Yeah. Anyway. 
like to try, but I'm obviously not going to. But no, because I know you're going to add some tiny little details that you're going to need oh, to do. Of course, I am. On your own. Of course, I am. All right. So we'll use the ones we have, and once I'm out of the ones we have, then you know, then I'll get off. So we're almost oh, that, there. That really looks incredible, Laurel. I am. I, I I'm just. I don't know. I don't know how I think of this stuff, but it's just the weird things when it comes to mixed media. I can just, I don't know. I just get going and it just comes as I'm, as I'm making something. And I really do like making the dress forms, you know, and always yeah, trying to find a different way to do them. That's like me with my doily albums. So now I want to start coming this way and I want some coming up over here and over the edge and stuff. Yes, oh, I was going to say, yeah, you don't, want to, you don't oh. want to cover up all of the dress, you know? No, so, but I want it coming down on the angle, you know, I want to yep. follow this angle. Um, right. So, ladies, if you order these, well, I can tell you I'm probably going to go through most of these. This is two packs, so I have a feeling um, I'm going to go through quite a few more before I'm done. And I will shape all these leaves and stuff once I, and I keep bumping this piece. It may have to go somewhere else. Um, I know I'm going to uh, go through most of them doing this just because I know where I want them all. I thought two would be enough, but it's not. So I'll sit and do some more because I actually like, uh, and I'm telling you, this project smells so good because of the the, the wax. wax yeah it's I got wonder such a they, good I wonder smell. if they use some you know they got to it like rose? Yeah. no it doesn't it doesn't smell like rose all of them smell the same but it's right. got this really good smell so we're just going to keep going down on this angle over here and follow this dress Oh, yeah. I'm yep. loving it. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to add some of the feathers in. I think that's going to look really cool, too. I want some on this black as well, so I want to come this way. I think I need to glue this black to the to the other color just a little bit. Just to get them to stay together. <laughs> I still can't believe. Like, see, I look I at it now that. and I go, I did not make this. There's no way I made this. And, and it looks so different from when, you know, before we came on and you were showing me what you had in mind. Right. It, it usually does. Yeah. I mean, you can still see the branches peeking out. You know, it just kind of gives it some, you know. Yeah. I can't think of the word I want to use back there. And I love these pieces. Yeah, I think they look really cool. And this one's still going to look really cool right here. I'm going to move these around a little bit because I want this one here and I want it to show. So we're going to play with mm -hmm. these a little bit. So I'm going to glue that on and I'm going to use the, this for that because I just don't want to use the hot glue. I just think that looks so cool. It does. There we go. Get that to stay. All right. Sorry, guys. All right. Close that up. Stick that in water. I got a couple. I have a couple more leaves to go, and then we'll end. And I will come back. I'll probably be back tonight. Um, and film after it so you guys can get a little sleep. <laughs> huh? I said after she gets a little sleep. No. Probably no, we not. try to stay out. Oh, something, something is crooked somewhere, and now it's bothering me. This has got to come. There we go. This has got to come that way a little bit. There we go. It was crooked. It was bothering me. Yeah, I'm not tired now. I want to see this thing finished. <laughs> I mean, I might not film it tonight, but yeah, it will be. It will be done tonight. Oh, 
go. Leave a little bit of that dress sticking out there and keep going on this angle here. And then I will shape all the leaves. And I do have some stuff I'm going to be adding on here. So, yes, all my little tiny embellishing that I like to do. That's definitely got to happen. And I want one coming from under here. I just bring it up a little higher. I can't bring it much higher. No, that that's okay right there. Now I, we can see. Um, let me move some of this stuff over, then I can push it that way a little bit. There we go. Can you see better now? Yes. All right. Oh, my glue gun keeps going off. You know, my glue gun that has the short. Mm -hmm. Come on, don't die on me now. Oh, my goodness. All right, I'll play with that in a second. Right, it may be ending because glue gun. Oh, there we go. Nope. I telling you, I need to take this thing back. It just has an issue. It doesn't like to stay on. All right, it's on. Nope. No. No? <sighs> yeah, Cam's yeah. like, nope. <laughs> All right. Did you bring me coffee? Please say oh, you did. All right, can you bring it up here? I really need a cup of coffee. All right, so I've got two more leaves. And then we're done for, well, we're done for now. So. We're going to keep going. I want to go under because I want to make sure this pink shows a little bit. So I'm just letting that glue gun warm up for a second. Oh, my God. I absolutely love it. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird because I didn't know what I was going to do, but I can tell you it's what I imagined. You know, it's hard yeah. to explain. I didn't know what I was looking for, but it's what I would have envisioned, you know, it to look like. Yep, that's probably how most of my projects come out. They never come out exactly how I think they're going to at the beginning, ever. Right. All right, that's that. All right, one more. And this one I want to go, where do I want this one? Because I want some coming up out over here so yeah i was gonna say what about up yeah up this way so we need this one this way all right All right, and I will oh, change yeah. all those around. Yeah. So, so that's it for now, ladies. Um, thank you for joining us, or you will be joining the video. It's funny, <laughs> this is crooked, but it's straight on there. My iPad must be, my camera must be crooked. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy this. I hope you learned a lot, and I hope you were inspired. Um, if you have any questions, if I didn't explain something or you're confused about something, Please message me on Messenger or just leave me a message in the comments and I will check it and see. And I will add on the finishing embellishments up here and we're going to add in some other stuff. But this is the main idea so far. I hope you guys love it. I myself absolutely love it. So I can't wait to get it finished. So thank you so much for all your support. Um, I will be doing more of these projects um coming up because it's like i don't know summertime seems to be when i do my mixed media it's so weird so because that's when i did all my mixed media last year was in the summer so mm -hmm. we're going to get these all stuck down where they go and get this all fixed up and i will be back to do a video for you guys so thank you so much i hope you all have a wonderful um holiday weekend and we will see you all soon bye for now don't forget to get out there and create something 
Thanks so Mags. Oh, thanks so much, Mags, for joining me today. Your book is looking awesome. I can't wait to see it finished. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone.